Welcome to this new video in which we will see how to connect or to add an, a server to your SAP logon and connect to this SAP server to access all your business transactions. So if you are here, you probably already purchased or received the SAP access. It looks like something like this. So these are my, these are my, um, my details to, uh, to connect to one SAP 2020 server. So of course I have one user ID. I have one password that is given to me and usually on the first connection it asks you to change the password but for the first connection it will be fine and then you should have detail about the server which system so you can for example reuse this name to identify this system or change it to write down the name you want for example a production system a disk client system or development system or anything you like and then these are connections information. So the client is needed once you open the sub connection, but you will need the server, um, system number, system ID, and sub router string to create the uh, connection in sub logon. So let's see now how to create the connection in sub logon. First of all, open sub. So if you have not yet installed sub, see my other video on how to install the sub, uh, sub server. And if you already have SAP, you should have SAP logon uh, accessible from your computer, for example, through this icon on your desktop. So let's open SAP. And here directly we have the SAP logon. So here I have the version 750, but it works similarly with any SAP logon version. So I will move a bit the window so we can better copy and paste from one window to the other. And here in the connections, I first must go to the connections um, if I'm not there yet. I can right click and add new entry, use the control N uh, sh keyboard shortcut or click here on new item. It's all the same. So let's add a new entry. We will enter a user specified system because we have all these details available. So next, enter the custom application server details. So the description, we can reuse what has been given. Usually they give you a you always get a description about which server is it, which name this server has, but sometimes it's not meaningful. For example, you might have uh, from your, your client or your company, uh, the server called, uh, for example, 1P, uh, which means the first production server. Another server called 1D, the first development server, or any other kind of acronyms that might not be meaningful to you, but are meaningful for the uh, IT uh, IT. Uh, IT governance in your company. So uh, here I'm just copy pasting the description, but you can put whatever you want here. The description does not matter. It's only for you to recognize this server in your server list on your SAP logon. Then um, uh, application server here, you need to enter the server you got. So it might be a letter. Here I have an IP address, but it might be um, a domain, domain name. Um, yeah, so system number is the instance number, in my case, 00. zero. Uh, system ID is uh, this one that is given to you. And then you have a sub router string that you should copy and paste. So here I copy and paste it. And uh, that's all. You have already set up your sub system uh, for your sub logon and you can uh, continue. So basically now we just push next. For most cases, you just push next now. So. Uh, if you have a secure network communication, you can enter it here, but in most cases, you will probably not have it. If you have one, it will be for sure provided in your connection details. You can also change the network settings, so you can uh, tell uh, SAP Logon that you have a high speed connection or low speed connection. It will, uh, uh, if you do have a low speed connection, it is worth changing this setting, so um, for sure the the uh, SAP uh, system, SAP logon will work with this low uh, speed connection. So better do it if you have it. And then uh, you can change the language code. So in a mod, in a, if you use another language than the default language, you can change it here, but it will only be working if the language has been installed on the sub server, SAP server, and uh, it might not be the case. If it is the case, of course you can do it here. But uh, be aware that it might not work. So even if you choose another language, it might still uh, then only display in the uh, defined server default language, which, which might not be English or might not be uh, your, uh, your language. The chosen language 
It might be something else. In some cases, very often, for example, the default language might be set up to German. And if you choose another language than uh, English that is uh, usually always installed or German, uh, then you will be uh, defaulted to German. So you can change it if you want, but you don't have to. And you can also change the encoding. Uh, so this is very important for file upload and uh, file download. So when you export to Excel, for example, or when you import CSV comma separated value files in your subsystem, if you don't have the right encoding, you might run through some issues. For example, the accents not, be, not uh, being displayed properly or uh, things like that and data not being recognized either by uh, SAP when you import uh, data or by your other applications when you export data from SAP. So make sure you uh, change if you need. Oh. Uh, so in my case, uh, it is the standard one, Western European. It might be something else. The best, uh, if possible, is to choose UTF-8 new uh, because it's universal encoding if you have it. But if you are not sure, do not uh, change anything and simply click on finish. Now that is finished, the server has been added. And we can simply double click and it should open the SAP uh, system, so SAP system uh, to this uh, server, so connection to this server. So I will just make the window like this so we can see it. So here I must connect to the client 100 on this server. Make sure always that you do it because in uh, some cases it's not changed when you open the SAP uh, login connection. Then enter your user ID, in my case, this is the user ID and the password. Here, simply put the password. You can change the logon language if you want to change the language, otherwise simply push enter. And here you go, you are, uh, at least I am connected to SAP and I can uh, enter my favorite transactions. For example, uh, MM16 is my favorite transaction. And here I am in, uh, in my, uh, my transaction. So uh, that's it, that's how you connect to SAP and you can add as many servers as you like on your SAP login, you can uh, um, edit them. If you select one and you right click, then you select properties, you can edit uh, your system properties. If you made a mistake or you want to change something, you can add as many sub servers as you want. You can change them, you can uh, update them, you can remove them, you can uh, again add more. So uh, that's all for this video. If it has been useful to you, please uh, feel free to uh, put a thumbs up, to uh, share it with your networks. It would mean uh, a lot. Uh, thank you very much. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel as well and activate the bell if you want to uh, see more, uh, be notified of more interesting uh, videos. So thank you very much and uh, see you soon for a new video. Bye.